And when I got to Cincinnati, which was my last port of call as a student, uh, both Lee Pfizer, who was my next cello teacher, and Henry Meyer, who was my chamber music teacher, were incredibly important. Henry was a survivor of Auschwitz and uh, Bergen-Belsen. Uh, he literally you know, walked to freedom as a starving kid at the end of World War II. He'd, before the Nazis had sort of taken over, he'd been a child prodigy. He played, a, I think, either Brooke or Beethoven with Ferdfangler when he was like eight years old. Um, and he only survived in the camps that he was told he was going to be executed twice. And the first time was he initially survived because he played in the camp orchestra. Uh, but they call it the camp band. And he was told uh, at some point, actually, you know, we don't need violins in the camp band. So, you know, tomorrow's it. And Henry said, you know, actually, my degree isn't in violin. It's in the cymbals. I went to the conservatory as a cymbal player. So they switched him. He, he, he convinced them that he was one of the world's greatest cymbal players. And they switched him to the cymbals. At another point, he got ill. And of course, they didn't treat sick people there. Um, so the presiding doctor came into the hospital, saw that, that Henry was under the weather, and basically you know, they make a little mark on your record saying, you know, kill him tomorrow. And that night, uh, a different doctor came in who had seen Henry perform as a kid, as a solo violinist, and he recognized Henry and saw that Henry had been marked for death. So he switched his record with another guy who had died of natural causes during the day. And for the rest of the time in that camp, he, he went by a different name and pretended to be someone else. Um, and it was through Henry that I got involved in all of the sort of music of Jewish composers who were affected by the war in, in one way or another. He suggested my quartet learn the Victor Ullmann Third Quartet, which we did together in uh, Colorado last year. 